Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to implement an on-click listener for a recycler view. Uh, this video is a continuation from my last video where I showed you how to set up a basic recycler view. Uh, if you haven't seen that video and you want to check it out, the link will be down in the description below. So the scenario for this is that we're going to have a list of users and when you click on one of the users, it will bring you to their profile page like this. Now guys, I've just reopened the project that we made in the last video and the first thing that I'm going to do is create a new layout file. So we're going to come down here and we're going to click new and we're just going to call this profile activity. So this is going to be a really basic profile page and we're just going to have one text view and I'm going to center this in the middle of the page so I'm going to center it horizontally and vertically. And this is just where we're going to show the user's name. So we'll call it a name text view. Now, so I'm just going to create a new profile activity. So we'll just call this profile activity. And this needs to extend um, app compat activity. So we're going to use this class to show uh, the user's name. And to get the onCreate method, I've just grabbed it from uh, our main class here. I'm just pasting it in. And now I'll just remove the stuff that we don't need. And I'll just change our layout file to be profile activity. So I'm just going to instantiate our text view next. So I'm going to say text view name text is equal to find view by ID and we'll say r.id name text view. Now guys, that's pretty much everything we can do on the profile activity for now. So we're going to come back to our recycler adapter and come straight down to the bottom and we're just going to make an interface here. And um, we're going to call this a uh, recycler view click listener. And this is just going to have one method and it's going to be void on click and it's just going to have two parameters uh, one of type view and we're just going to call that v and then it's going to have an int uh, called position and that's just going to define the position in the array that we click on. Now so if we just come up to the top of our class we're going to create an instance of um, the interface that we just made there. So we're going to say private recycler view click listener we'll just call this listener. Now, so the next thing to do is just come down here to our my view holder class and we're just going to implement a view dot on click listener. Now, so if we click on the red line anywhere, we should get a little light bulb and we can just click that to implement the methods that we need. So now we have the on click method. Now, so if we come up here to our constructor, we can just say view dot set on click listener, and we're just going to pass that this. And if we come down here to our on click method, we can say listener dot on click, and we need to pass that a view and the position in the array. So we'll say get it after position. Now I just realized that we forgot to instantiate our um, click listener, so we're just going to do that up here in the constructor. So it's going to take in a listener. And we can just say this dot listener is equal to listener. Now, so our adapter class is finished, so we can come back to our main activity. And the first thing that we need to do in the main activity is we need to create a declaration for the recycler view click listener. So we're just going to say private recycler view click listener. We'll just call this listener. Now guys, if we scroll down to our set adapter method, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new method called set on click listener. And that's going to be called as soon as the adapter method is called. So if we click the little bulb, we should create the new method. And in here, what we want to do is we want to say listener is equal to, and this should auto generate your code. So we're going to say new recycler adapter. And if you just hit enter, it'll auto generate this on click listener for you. So inside the on click, we want to make an intent which we can use to go to our profile activity. 
Now, so that's going to be new intent and we're going to say get application context and we're going to say profile activity dot class. Now, so we want to put the username of that user uh, as an extra into this intent. So we're going to say intent dot put extra and we're going to just put the key here, which is the username. And now we want to pass the username of the user who was selected. So we want to say user list dot get and we can use the position here so we can say get position. Uh, dot get username and now we can simply just say start activity and pass the intent so for example if you click on a person named John it'll pass his name with the intent as an extra to the next activity and we can get his name in the next activity so if we scroll back up here we can pass our listener into the constructor for our adapter so we can just say listener here and now let's just go back to our manifest and declare our profile activity. So if we hit manifest and all you have to do is say activity and just click profile activity. Now so let's just go back to our profile activity and oh this should say profile activity not activity profile. Now we're just going to create a string for the username. So we'll say string username and we'll just equal that to username not set at first. So we'll just say username not set. Now we also need to get a bundle to get the extras that we pass through the intent. So we'll just say bundle extras and that's equal to get intent dot get extras. And we just need to check if that's not equal to null. So let's say if extras is not equal to null. And if that's true, we can say that the username is equal to extras.getString. And you just need to put the key name in here so we can just say uh, username. So that should get the username uh, through the intent. So the last thing to do is just set the text view. So we can just say name text dot set text and we're just going to pass that username. Now the last thing to do is just build the app. So I'll do that and I'm just going to show you a quick overview of what it should look like. Now guys here's just a quick example of what it should look like. So if you click a user it brings you to their profile page and you can go back and you can select another user. So that's the end of the video guys, uh, I hope that you learned something from it and if you have any questions or queries or anything like that just put it down in the comments. Um, thanks for watching.